Hi, K2. I hope you've all had a lovely day. I would like to read a short story to you called The Christmas Collar. So sit down, grab yourself a hot chocolate, snuggle under a blanket and let's enjoy a story together. So I'm going to try and share my screen now so you can see it. Okay. It was Christmas Eve and Myla was out in the woods walking her dog, Lumi. Wow, what's that? said Myla as she saw something sparkling in the snow. Lying on the ground in front of them was a collar. There was no name on it and no one to be seen. Myla popped the collar around Lumi's neck to keep it safe until they could find the owner. That night, Myla was full of anticipation. She climbed into bed, wondering whether Christmas was just as exciting for dogs. Good night, buddy, she said, stroking Lumi's ears. Just as Lumi was drifting off into a gentle snooze, the room began to glow. I must be dreaming, she thought, opening her eyes, because it feels like I'm flying. Lumi rolled and wriggled, all the while lifting slowly into the air. The door flew open and she floated further and further out into the night sky. She whirled and wobbled as she moved closer to another figure gliding across the horizon. Lumi blinked in disbelief as before she knew it, she was nose to nose with a Reindeer! Oh, jingling jingles! gasped the reindeer in shock. I didn't know Santa let dogs do sleigh duty. Santa? Sleigh duty? replied a very confused Lumi. I should be at home in bed. Oh, the reindeer laughed. We've got a lot of work to do before you can go back to bed, he said as the magical collars guided them to the North Pole. When they arrived, Lumi gazed in wonder as she saw an enormous glimmering sleigh. More reindeer appeared from every direction. One by one, they all landed softly and headed over to the sleigh. Suddenly, beautiful golden reins magically appeared all around Lumi and all the reindeer. Oh, I think there may have been a mistake, she yelped, hoping someone would hear her as her feet lifted off the ground again. But it was no use. On they flew until they reached the house of the first child on Santa's list and landed gently on the roof. Santa delivered the gift and made his way back to the sleigh. As he passed his team of reindeer, he spotted something strange. Ho, ho, ho. Hold on a minute, said Santa. You're not Dasher. Oh, no, I, I'm Lumi, she said, and told Santa the whole story of her surprising adventure. That's no ordinary collar your human found, chuckled Santa. Oh, my reindeer, we are these magical collars that call them into action on Christmas Eve. So where is Dasher? asked Blitzen. I think I know where to find her, said Lumi. After a quick sniff of the air, she knew which way to go. Follow me, she said, and guided Santa and his reindeer to the woods. They set the sleigh down and Lumi started to search for the spot where Myla had found the collar. She sniffed the ground and the trees until eventually she led Santa to the right place. Santa blew a tiny golden whistle, but Lumi couldn't hear a thing. Then all of a sudden, a beautiful reindeer came bounding through the trees. Dasher! cried Santa with glee as the reindeer nuzzled into his chest. Santa took the collar from Lumi and placed it around Dasher's neck. Oh, I'm so glad we found you, beamed Santa. 
It's a good job Lumi was here to help. Oh, thank you, Lumi, said Dasher. I was racing with my brother in the woods and my collar must have fallen off. Santa hopped back into his sleigh and checked his watch. Crinkling crackers, he said. We need to leave now if we are going to deliver all these presents on time. Next on the list is a little girl called Myla. Lumi's face lit up with joy. Well, I can certainly help you find that house, she said, and off they went. Santa and Lumi climbed down the chimney with some presents for Myla and her family. Lumi crept quietly back into her bed and fell asleep, exhausted after her magical journey. Myla and her family woke up on Christmas morning to find some presents waiting for each of them. There was even something extra special under the tree for Lumi. Oh, and that is the end of our Christmas story. I hope that you all have the most magical Christmas ever, Kato. I'm going to miss you lots and I cannot wait to hear all about your Christmas when we get back. It's going to be fantastic. Make sure you are super good and don't forget to leave something extra special out for Father Christmas and his reindeer. Wishing you all lots and lots of love and happiness. Okay, everyone, take care. Merry Christmas!